everyone and welcome back to Cisco Workers Bahrain 2010. Here we have Aziz with us. Hi, how are you Aziz? Very good. Can you introduce yourself to the audience please? Sure. Uh, my name is Zahir Aziz. I work in uh, Business Video Group within Advanced Services where we are responsible for all of telepresence deployment in the enterprises plus business videos like uh, products such as uh, uh, interoperability, show and share, uh, and all the other new uh, video capabilities which Cisco is producing. So our group is responsible to deploy uh, at the customer premises. Okay, so uh, as, I, as of I know, you have a session that you were talk, talking about telepresence, right? right? Can you tell us a little bit about your session? Sure. Uh, I presented at, uh, at previous networkers as well, and in this networkers, I had a session on business to business telepresence. And what it entailed was that how, once you have an internal deployment of telepresence within your enterprise, okay. how can you talk to the outside world? Okay. So let's say uh, you're an enterprise A, and the enterprise B, who's your partner or your distributor or your collaboration partner, uh, and they also have telepresence. So okay. instead of having simple, boring phone conversations with them, why don't have a telepresence call? Uh, so my session was about how two enterprises can talk to each other through uh, an exchange service by provider. Uh, so telepresence exchange built by the provider who would connect the two enterprises together. Okay, so enterprises now, like a phone call, they can just call any other enterprise and can have full HD quality uh, video communication with, uh, with the two companies, That's right? the goal, that's the goal, That's right? the goal. Right. So, okay, so how about uh, uh, in the future? Do you think telepresence is a future technology or it's now in the future? Well, I think it's uh, becoming uh, very uh, uh, adaptable within enterprises. Those who are using it, uh, the adaption rate and the usability rate within the enterprise rooms are very high. Okay. So, for example, in Cisco IT's network, uh, the uh, the rooms are booked more than 50% of the time within you know eight-hour slot. Okay. And uh, other large enterprises who are who have deployed large number of rooms, uh, they are seeing very high usability as well. Uh, but it's definitely that's the way to go. And uh, with uh, you know Cisco telepresence, uh, you know other standard definitions, and we have the interoperability offering as well, where you know a standard definition endpoint can talk to telepresence. That's where I think uh, you will see a large amount of video conferencing happening. Okay. So uh, as of today, do we have businesses talking with each other? Absolutely, like absolutely. So there are about seven providers in the world today who are offering this intercompany solution. Okay. And all of their customers can talk to their respective you know, SP, through their SP uh, to other uh, customers. I think the future where it needs to be is where anybody can talk to anybody. Okay. So if a provider X has five customers and provider Y has other five customers, all those 10 customers should be able to talk to each other. Uh -huh. That is not there yet. That is not there, but yeah. it's going to happen. It's so going to happen. Do we have any time frame or expectations? It's, or? it's hard to give a time frame. It will take its time. Okay. Uh, but because uh, there are a lot of challenges that needs to be overcome. Uh, and SPs are eagerly working to actually solve those problems. Because it's like a phone phone service, right? Yeah. Uh, you cannot have a closed user group phone service. Yes. You, awesome. you should be able to just pick anybody and, and dial. And if, if I know that you have telepresence, I should be able to dial you. Yeah, All that, right? is, that <laughs> is absolutely true. So I know you have a busy schedule, so what, what advice do you have for enterprises regarding telepresence? Well, there are many things. I mean, they, first, of, first thing is that they need to deploy in large number. Uh, because once they start using it, they will get comfortable with it. Uh, and then, then they will realize that uh, all of their collaboration partners, uh, if you take any example of educational field, for example, okay. uh, you have a campus in Saudi, the other uh, campus could be in Bahrain, and the professor is sitting in Dubai. Uh -huh. So the professor in Dubai can present at the same time to uh, students in Bahrain and also in Saudi. And you could have an end-to-end -end meeting, uh, fully collaborated, uh, and you can imagine you know, the benefit of such kind of uh, meetings. So the advice is that we should uh, adopt these new technologies and not uh, not be resistant to it. I would like to thank you a lot for your time, and let's say hi to our uh, audience, and thank you for your time. All right, thank, thank you, you very much. Thank Bye. you.